Hello there. So I've updated my cookie clicker stock tracking spreadsheet. So I thought I'd do an updated video just to show you what's new and also to go over how to make your own copy of the sheet because that seems to trip a few people up because it's a little bit involved. Um, so yeah, worth the time. So we've got the uh, stocks here and what you want to do to use the sheet straight up is export the save and copy that, go into the sheet paste it into the stats page, no more input page anymore, wait for this to update and then click add data. That will take a moment to update everything and then it will recommend to sell and buy based on your data. What's new is that when you have more than one stock, only when you have more than one stock, it will tell you to sell. So you see I have zero subsidiaries so it's telling me you know you could sell but you don't have it in stock, so don't bother. And it will only tell you to buy if you have more, if you have less than full stock. So sugar, zero in stock, buy it. Cereal, full stock, I would tell you to buy it, but you can't because it's full. So if I go to the page, um, it will show me, yeah, full cereal stock, but sell chocolate and butter and buy sugar and so on. So let's have a look. Yeah, that's full, so I can't. Um, buy it but I can sell this, I can sell this and I can buy that and so on, right? Um, so that's a good result because you know I've got a lot of stuff here. So what you'll want to do is you will want to make your own copy of this sheet. This is the public sheet, you can't use this, you need to make your own copy to use it. Um, so how to do that is file, make a copy, Call it whatever you want, it'll save it to your Google Drive. Click OK. And then you wait a moment because it's copying over all of the data that I've got in there. It's copying over the scripts and stuff as well. It'll put you on this um, README page, which I've updated with a bunch of frequently asked questions, you know, and, and how do I make my own copy? It's all, all here for you to just look at. I recommend that you read this as well, uh, just to get started. Um, but you've made your own copy, great. First thing you want to do as a first time user, or if you're a returning user updating from the previous spreadsheet, you want to go into the data tab. So this is where all of the data actually goes when you paste in your save and you want to click wipe data. What will happen is it'll say running script, but after a moment it will say, hang on, are we sure that we want to do this? And the reason for that is just because I've got scripts attached to this that can edit the data. Um, but it's a lot it makes it look a lot scarier than it is. So authorization required, okay. Choose an account, choose your Google account. Google hasn't verified this app. No, Google has not verified my cookie clicker mini game tracking spreadsheet. I'm really sorry about that. You click advanced and you say go to, and it says unsafe, but I can tell you everything that the sheet does. The sheet takes your save, it decodes it from base 64, and then it just goes through that and takes your cookie save data and puts it into the spreadsheet I just showed you, right? It doesn't, it doesn't, it's not going to do anything crazy. It's not going to do anything outside of just this sheet. All right. So you click that and then you click allow. And I'm sorry that you have to go through that rigmarole, but you know, Google, good that Google's being extra safe, but what a hassle. And what that does for us is it means that the script that tried to run didn't even run. So you click wipe data again. And then you, are you sure you want to? This is just a safeguard so that you don't accidentally delete your data. You click yes, and then it will safely wipe this sheet. So now this is all ready and new for you to put your stuff in. If you're a returning user, you just go into your existing sheet, go into the data tab, um, grab it all, copy and paste. If you're a new user, you do what I just did before. You go into the stats page, you get your save from Cookie Licker, you paste it in, you wait for this to update the data preview, then you click add data. Sometimes this button doesn't appear, you just need to refresh in that case. And it'll give you this, and this isn't super useful. This isn't super useful. What you want to do is um, every day, twice a day, twice a week, it doesn't matter so long as it's regular. Don't do it 20 times in one day and then never again. That won't work. You've got to do it regularly for a period of time. Um, but every time that you input into the sheet, the data will change. 
because the prices have changed. And if you do this for, I don't know, about a week, um, then you will start getting really reliable results, which show you what to actually do. If you, you, you shouldn't really listen to this before then because it's still figuring stuff out. But after you've done it for a while, like I have, you start to get reliable results, which look, look something like this. It tells you when to buy, when to sell, and it's very useful. If you want to look at your historical data, you can go into charts and there's, well, a load of charts. These ones on the left, if you do it for too long, are pretty unreadable. But these ones on the right just show you the data for the last two weeks, so it's much more um, easier to read. And it shows you all of the things that the uh, sheet can use, which are explained um, elsewhere, so I won't explain them here. Um, if you go into stats and hover over things, there's notes that kind of give a quick rundown of what it is. If you go into settings, there's more details here, and you can also customize and tweak things how you want it. But again, I'm not going to go into detail on that right now. Uh, if you want to manually input things so you just never use um, the scripts, this is where you do it. You input the date, you input the time. There's shortcuts for that, control colon and control shift colon. And then you just manually put in your data for each one, but that's a pain, so, you know, use the, use the button. And then I've got some patch notes here just to tell everyone what I've done. If you go delving in data processing, it'll just be full of data, which is for the charts, make the charts work. So don't really mess with these. And if you're very curious, go in data processing three. This is where I um, basically uh, take your, uh, take your save apart and figure out where the data is and figure out where the data is. That, that's all that does. And that's what all those warnings are about when you copy the sheet over. So hopefully that's all making sense. Thank you very much. And if there's any problems with it, just leave me a comment. I'll, uh, I'll be here. All right. Thank you.